Some cable TV viewers got a false warning of an ecological hazard because someone hacked into an emergency alert system. That hoax was followed by three more messages, including one saying, change your password. Kyra 7's Graham Johnson looked into the risk of these false alarms. We're outside the Wave Broadband offices in Port Hadlock. Last night, someone hacked into the emergency alert device for the cable TV system and sent false messages to 3,000 customers. The first one was pretty scary. Yvonne Ermston was watching TV around 8.30 last night when this emergency alert came on, warning of a radiological hazard for all of Washington. About five minutes later, another one came up. The next alerts had less serious messages. You normally hear an alert sound, like a solid beep, but this was actually rap music playing in the background. One alert referenced a channel on Twitch, a video game viewing service. Jefferson but, County's um, emergency so, management um, director, Willie Bentz, sure. tells me the messages did not come from the government. Someone hacked into the emergency alert device at Wave Broadband. Right now it seems to be some sort of, um, maybe a little bit of a juvenile prankster, um, just given their, the messaging that they sent. You know, they advised folks to the, who own the system to change their passwords actually in one of the messages. Emergency alert receivers are at cable and satellite companies and TV stations. So we have two devices that control the EAS messaging that's sent from emergency management. Cairo 7's director of engineering, Keith Neely, says broadcasters carefully protect these devices. A lot of problems happen when these are first put in because there's a default password. And if somebody knows the default password, there hasn't been time for an organization to change the password, those can easily be hacked. Alert systems have been hacked before. In 2013, a zombie apocalypse warning appeared on TVs in several states. Civil authorities in your area have reported that the bodies of the dead are rising from their graves and attacking the living. The Jefferson County Sheriff's Office is investigating last night's hack, which ended with the message, all right, I'm done. You can rest now. Emergency management officials tell me Wave has now added another level of encryption to head off future hacks. In Port Hadlock, Graham Johnson, Cairo 7 News.